Hello everyone, let's start with exercise 1.2, question number 6. It says the numbers 525 and 3000 are both divisible only by 3, 5, 15, 25 and 75. So what is the HCF of 3000 and 525? So as uh, we know that the numbers 525 and 3000 are both divisible by 3, 5, 15, 25 and 75. So, highest common factors will be highest common factors will be 3, 5, 15, 25 and 75. So, HCF of these three numbers or the numbers we have here will be the highest number out of these all. So, it is 75. So, the HCF of 3000 and 525 will be 75. If you want to verify, you can even verify by doing by taking prime factors of 525 and 3000 or by Euclid's division method. So you can verify even. So you must remember out of highest common factors, we need to take the highest common factor out of the numbers we, which are divisible by both the numbers. So that is only 75. The highest number out of these all is 75. So that's the easy one. It may come in question, in like multiple choice questions. So that's your answer for question number six. Now question number seven. It says explain why three into five into seven plus seven is a composite number. Now you must know what composite number is. So composite number is uh, is the number which has more than two factors, like the prime numbers. Prime numbers have only factors like 1 and number itself but in this case they can have the multiple factors so in this we have 3 into 5 into 7 plus 1 so what we can take common is we can take common 7 now we are left with as a first term is 3 into 5 and in the second term it will be 1 only because we have taken 7 out so 7 3 into 5 is 15 15 plus 1 so we have 7 into 16. Now we know that 16 can be uh, written in terms of prime factors. It can be written like this 2 raised to power 4. So now we can say it is not a prime number. It is a composite number because it has multiple factors in it. So that's your answer for question number 7. Now moving on to question number 8. It says can two numbers have 18 as their HCF and 380 as their LC. So it is given that HCF is 18 and LCM is 380. So now if it is given like this then 18 must be a factor of 380. So if we divide 380 with 18 it must be a natural number. If it is not a natural number then we can't say that it is divisible or it can, ha uh, they both are LCM or HCF, we can't say. So, if we divide 30, 380 over 18, we get a decimal number. If we get a decimal number, when we divide HCF and LCM, then we can't say that they are LCM and HCF of any two numbers. So, we can say that 380 and 18 are not HCF and LCM of two numbers. What they must be is natural number. If they are not natural number then we can't consider them as HCF and LCM of two numbers. So that's all for question number 8. Thank you for watching this.